My name is Ian Bird. This is My 365 Project. Today is day 153 of the new 365 project. I am walking through uh, downtown east side of Vancouver and I am going to talk about the topic of burgers. Yes, burgers. This may be a controversial issue, especially among those vegans and vegetarians out there, but forget them. But it also could be a controversial issue with uh, those, those uh, connoisseurs of burgers. And I'm going to talk about the different burgers that I've tried here in Vancouver. The first one that I want to say is the Vera Burger. This is, uh, this is made at the uh, Vera's uh, Burger Shack. There's about 8 or 10 or maybe 15 here in, uh, in the Lower Mainland. Uh, they're some of the best burgers I've ever tasted. Uh, they're, they've been uh, voted number one burger in Vancouver for like, I don't know, six years. So those are always really good burgers. The problem is though, is that they cost a lot of money. To get a good burger and fries, it costs like close to $15 after tax. And that's a problem because those are kind of expensive just to get a burger and fries. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to find a, a cheaper burger. But if you get a cheaper burger, they're not going to be as good quality. So really the problem is, is the A&W burger, which I, I, I love. I used to work for A&W. Wasn't the best job in my, in my life. I got fired for asking for a raise, but that's a different story. Um, yeah, the A&W burger, I worked there. I know all the ins and outs. I know how to make my burger like amazing and just how I like it. So I always like that, but that's a fast food burger. And fast food burger is just the quality is a lot less than, than a homemade burger. So what I found being working uh, on uh, Cambian Hastings is that just up the street is VCC uh, College and they have an amazing cafeteria there and because it's a cafeteria you can walk in and you can order and there's there's all these uh, tr training chefs and all that making the food you can order your food and get in a takeout container and then close up the takeout container and then you go and pay your pay for your food and first of all it's really cheap and second of all they ask you what you got they ask you now, I know this is probably not the most moral thing to say, but I will go there and I'll get myself a burger with my, my mushrooms and my bacon and my, my cheese and all that, and then I'll get an extra patty. But when they ask me at the uh, counter, I won't tell them about that extra patty. I know, I know, I'm a horrible, horrible person. But that basically means I get a double burger with bacon, cheese, mushrooms for like five fifty with fries. Now that is a good price. And the quality isn't too, too bad, so I'm always happy with that. So of the burgers that I've tried in Vancouver, those are the three ones that I really, really like. Now it's your turn. If anybody gives a rat's ass and wants to, to be in, interactive and involved in this, I would like to hear you guys tell me about some of the best burgers that you've had. Because I, I would not consider myself like an expert connoisseur, but I really like burgers. And I like trying them all over the place. And I've been made, I've always been mocked and made fun of when I go to a really nice restaurant and I get a burger, but whatever. So I'd like to hear some, some other comments and, and find out what other people think are really good burgers so that I can possibly try them in the future and then compare and make my own uh, assumptions. So let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll go from there. But anyways, now that I've uh, entered Chinatown, that sounds racist that I'm going to stop my video because I entered Chinatown. But now that I'm in Chinatown, I'm going to say goodbye and we will see you tomorrow. I hope. Well, obviously it's a 365 project. I have to be here tomorrow. But we will see you then. Ta-da!